Hello and welcome to GoGecko.com. This video covers the overview of ETL tool Power Center from Informatica. ETL means extract, transform, and load. Informatica is one of the companies considered as the leaders of ETL tool industry. So why companies use ETL tools? One of the main use case can be companies often require data residing in various systems to be stored at one central place. This central place can often be called as data warehouse. Other cases when ETL can be used are companies mergers, system server migrations, data cleansing standardization, master data management, auditing, reporting, and many more. Why ETL is more popular than coding languages or procedural languages like PL SQL? Answer is, tools are simple to work with and so can be developed and delivered quickly. Also think it of this way, one can still advocate using assembly language or machine language for writing a code, but we preferred using high level languages and even visual tools like Informatica Power Center over them because they are much easier to manage and maintain. I'm planning to cover data warehousing, SQL, Unix commands, Informatica data quality, Informatica analyst, Informatica Siberian master data management in more videos. So check them out if they're already available. Otherwise, either stay tuned or reach out to me in case you have any questions or want to learn them. If you are new to ETL, I would highly recommend to first go through my Power Center videos and then to IDQ videos or other tutorials because I firmly believe that Power Center would set the strong base which is much needed to learn other ETL related technologies by Informatica like IDQ. Also, Power Center is the most widely ETL tool used by various companies and you have a much better chance of getting a job if you know Power Center. As this is a Power Center overview, I will quickly show you Power Center in action so that you get a feel or hang of it. So before I begin, keep in mind, extract, transform and load. ETL. It is that simple. Let me open up the Power Center tool now. To open the tool, go to Start, All Programs, choose whatever version you have. I have two. I will choose this one and choose Client and choose Power Center Client. By the way, Developer Client is where the IDQ is. So we are not learning that for now. In Power Center Client, choose Power Center Designer. Connect to one of the repository and give the credentials. Go to the right folder. And I already developed an overview mapping here. You also need two more tools which you can directly connect from here. It's called Workflow Manager and workflow monitor you can also open them from the same way as we have opened the designer so you can open the workflow manager and the monitor from here as well let me open it from here because the advantage is i don't have to give my credentials again and this way it directly gets me to the same folder where my designer is similarly i will open the monitor as well now let me go back to the mapping. All my videos have data sets similar to what we use in real life ETL projects. In this case, I'm dealing with customer data provided by Informatica. I have tweaked it to make it more real. This mapping, and again, I will cover what is mapping and other details in other videos. So this mapping extracts or reads the data from a file 
which has Boston customers data in it. Then transform it little mainly to standardize the source data and finally loads into the Oracle table. So this is my Boston customer file and this is one of the transformation. We are doing some of the standardizations here like we are making the names as uppercase. We are making state to be unknown if it is null else we are writing it in upper case and then finally loading that in an oracle table let me open up my source file my source file is residing here this is the source file which my mapping will read so as you can see the first name last names are camel case and there are some states with empty or null let me close that and I will show you my target table in Oracle if you see this table currently is empty now let's see power center in action and see how it reads the data from source file then transforms that source file and finally loads that into the target table to run that we need to go to workflow designer or workflow manager to run simply right click and start workflow as soon as it runs you can quickly check that here in the monitor that it just got succeeded to see more details you can see the source target statistics it read this many rows and it loaded this many into the target and there are no reject values you can also run this job from here but before I do that just to show you guys that this data has been entered in this customer table let me truncate it for now show you how you can run this from the workflow monitor as well you can simply right click and say restart task or you can say restart workflow or just say restart here and as you can see it's it read 21,000 road and it finished in two seconds no rejects now as I run this mapping again don't worry about any tools specific things as I will be covering them later power center is really good at showing the logs and details about the read transform and write processes I will show you how you can check the log so here is the detail log where it shows the repository name, server name, folder name, what is your target table, what is your target database you're connecting to, who was the user, target table name here, and it's going to insert all these columns. But mainly as a developer, you look at these details where it says how many rows you have read and how many rows you have loaded and whether there are any rejects or not also you can see if there are any errors that log will clearly shows where the errors are and what the errors are so that you can easily debug them there can be some scenarios where you need more details about an error and the log is not showing you the exact error but that you will learn with some practice and with some experience once your workflow is ready you can schedule them using industry schedulers or informatica scheduler in your production environment i will cover that part as well in my other videos at this time you might have some doubts questions but don't worry about them as you will eventually get it when i will go through them in my detailed tutorials this completes the overview of Informatica Power Center tool in action. Thanks for watching this video and do check out our website gogeeko.com for more easy to learn videos. Bye now.